Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101, I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Phillies 8-6 yesterday after dropping the first two games of the series. They won the last one in 10 innings, so that, that they didn't get swept is a good thing. I mean, there's more work to do, but the Giants are on the right track with an extra inning win in Game 3 of this series. Alex Cobb started yesterday in two runs, scored against him. The Giants were able to score five runs in nine innings of the game. That included home runs from Wilmer Flores and new acquisition Paul DeYoung. And, and Paul DeYoung's case is an interesting one because he he hit the free agent market after struggling with I, I forget who he was traded to at the trade deadline but he he really struggled and and he was designated for assignment became a free agent I, I, I think the really interesting thing here is the fact that the Giants signed him to a major league contract, which, which does make me wonder if he was getting significant competing offers elsewhere, but I mean, normally a player under those circumstances will be signed to a minor league deal, but the Giants decided to just make a big jump here and sign him to a big league contract, which it, it essentially means that it essentially meant from the start that he was on the big league roster to stay. He didn't have options or anything, I'm, I'm pretty sure, so he's, so that, that, that meant, it basically meant calling him up right away, and so he joins the big league roster, and he, he got to work with the Giants, he, he got three hits in total yesterday, including the home run. After Alex Cobb came out after five innings, the, the bullpen took it the rest of the way. And Alex Wood was used in a short relief outing this time. It's, it's, it's clear the Giants just aren't really using him as a starter anymore. His, his role is the bullpen, but it's, it's just interesting that it was short relief this time. And, and the Giants are loaded with starter long reliever types. So it, it doesn't surprise me though that then that there'd be instances like this one where Wood gets to pitch in a late inning game like this one. Camilo Doval came in in the ninth to try to get the save, but just like yesterday, he blew the save. A couple runners got on base for the Phillies, and then Bryce Harper hit a three-run homer off Doval to tie the game. It's very evident that Doval is in a slump right now, and he's not not everything's going right. It's I mean he was an all star, so this this year has overall been very good for him. But at this time, and it, and it really is, I, I will add that a bad time for it. He's he's just struggling, and and, and I mean. It, it, it could just be just the way things fluctuate for a player sometime and likely to change at some point I, and that maybe he'll only have to make minor adjustments. But I'm not sure exactly what the issue is here. And, and the Giants do have a decision to make that they're going to need to think about wh whether he should continue to be that ninth inning guy, whether he should continue to be the closer through all of this, I, I, I do think at the very least that if, if they do continue to put him in save situations in the ninth inning, they should be ready to aggressively pull him if that's necessary. They, they should be ready to, maybe, maybe they shouldn't be as quick to just let him work through everything. If there's trouble, they should be pulling him. They, they just need to find a way to, to work through this. But, I mean, if, if just in situations where the Giants haven't used all of their 
quality relievers. And, and the bullpen as a whole, it, it is pretty good. So I just think that sometimes there are better options than just leaving in a struggling closer. But this, this time it, it went to extra innings. And in the top of the 10th, Paul DeYoung drove in a run again for the Giants. He, he hit a single to bring a run home and put the Giants ahead 7-5. to five. And then Tyro Estrada, he basically flew into a double play. They, they just doubled off a runner who had left the base too early, but that did score a run. Wade Neckler scored on the play. The Giants went ahead 8-5. to five. And, and then it, it's, it's just, it was interesting, Ryan Walker getting what I think was his first career save. I, I mean, Atlanta, I'm, I'm trying to think here. Did, did he pitch three innings another time? Well, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's not often that he gets save opportunities, and, and he got that last out here in the bottom of the 10th to send the Giants to an 8-6 victory. So that, that, that's pretty good for for him, you know, being able to come in here and, and, and get the save in this situation. W with all that's, all the, all the things that have gone wrong that shouldn't have for the Giants this year, one thing that has consistently been a key strength is the ability to win in extra inning games. And that's, that's what's completely changed from last year. It used to be they just couldn't do it, but but now that's really one of the giant strengths, being able to use that extra leverage that's present when there's a runner on second. Just both with their pitching and with their hitting, it, it, it's just that that swings things, or it really seems to, in the Giants' favor. And, and I've mentioned that a lot of times this year they've the Giants have just had a lot of hitting slumps, but they've also had a lot of high points where they're they're hitting a lot and now they've they've just things are going in the right direction as, as far as that which is I'll, I'll just take time out and say is is one reason why it might be reasonable to expect things to turn around for the better here some other things of course would have to be gotten together but but the Giants hitting is taking a turn in the right direction I, I think it was a major reason for their slump here and if, if it continued to go in the right direction then if pitchers don't blow the saves anymore and stuff, then and, and they can get reasonably good starting pitching, that there is reason to expect they're gonna win games going forward from here. And just that the extra inning component of this is that the Giants have really been able to use the extra leverage created by the extra runner to their advantage in extra inning games. And it I think it really does does heighten their offensive ability and ability to get hit the right hits at the right times. They're they're showing they're just showing more aptitude at doing that than their opponents are. So at, at the end of the day the Giants do maintain a a playoff spot here. It it's I forgot to check the Diamondback standings, but you know it'd be the the third National League wild card spot. So they're in this they they won when it absolutely mattered. So they're they're, they're in the picture, and they just need to continue to win some security games and, and move up in, in those wild card standings. And it, it couldn't hurt to get to play a weaker team by being the first. I, I, I think that even where the Giants are now, that the first wild card spot is a very realistic goal for them down the stretch. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.